so I'm just going to show you real quick exactly how I made small fire starters. And unfortunately, I'm hand holding this, so it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but, <clears throat> but, but, yeah. But here we go. So, I've got, this is really simple. We're going to use cotton squares. I got the generic ones. This, this is on, um, I have a warming zone. This is just old candle wax. Doesn't smell anymore. It's just basically pointless. It's everything from little bits of votive candles to small bits of tapers to some wax melts that just completely lost their scent. Um, so all we're going to do, and it works really good if you have long-handled tweezers. These can always be boiled if you use them for your animals or something and need to get the yick off of them, but you could buy a set. They're not good enough for, um, if it'll focus, like not close enough to actually use for tiny little projects like, you know, splinters, but they're great for this. They came from the dollar store, of course. So all we're going to do is we're going to dip these little squares in, let them drip off a little bit, and yeah, this is where it's hard one-handed. Now, you could do it two ways. You could stick two of them together like this. And that'll be enough wax for them to stick once they cool. Or you could dip each one individually. Now you could do it with your fingers. But then you got to watch that you don't get the wax crawling up into, you know, on your fingers. Now, put one down. I did the first one backwards. What you would do is you would dip the second one so it's almost done dripping and then just lay it on top of the first one and it'll melt down into there. I am not holding this right, am I? Now I put them on, see enough of it came through, it'll hold those two pieces together. The idea being the wax is going to sustain the fire, the cotton's going to catch fire. Now when they're completely saturated like this, it's um, more wax, less cotton. It's kind of a drippy little mess when you put it in. These are great for putting in your own fireplace um, in the house. I only use these little ones. I'm going to make a video next where I make some bigger ones for an outside fire pit or a campfire or whatever you want to use them for. Um, what I put down here first, this is non-coated uh, parchment paper. Now when I'm all done here, I'm going to pick these up once they're cooled and we're going to just store them in a plastic bag, stack them on top of each other and somewhere cool, they'll be great, they'll stay, um, they won't stick together. And then I'll just fold this up since it has the wax on it and I'll use this as a fire starter also. So that's it for making the 